Ever notice how thunderstorm clouds are much deeper and taller than other clouds? That's because there's a stronger current of rising air inside of the cloud called an updraft, the same thing that causes turbulence in an airplane. This updraft carries little particles up into the cloud. As they rise through the cloud, they bump into tons of tiny little water droplets. That original little speck serves as something for the water droplets to cling to, and it grows into a raindrop. As those drops keep rising, they reach an area of the cloud that's below freezing. Then it freezes into ice. Now this ice, which is going to be the center of the hailstone, which has yet to form, violently collides with all these tiny little supercooled droplets of water that haven't had a chance to freeze yet. When these collide, they freeze and the hailstone grows. Now this process continues until the hailstone grows and grows and gets too heavy, then it eventually falls to the ground. If that wind blowing straight up through the cloud out towards space is 25 miles an hour, the hailstone will reach the size of a pea, then it becomes too heavy and it falls back toward Earth. If the storm is stronger and it has an updraft of 50 miles per hour, the hailstone might get as big as a quarter, then it will fall as well. If the storm is really strong and it has an updraft blowing straight up towards space of 100 miles an hour, that hailstone might reach the size of a grapefruit before it is too heavy to be suspended and falls toward Earth. These hailstones can get pretty big and they also fall very fast, which is why it's very dangerous to be outside in a hailstorm. They're also a big danger to pets and livestock.